Lockwood, 93 and change, and Eduardo being that other big one. They might take another look at this because right as the clock hit eight, Eduardo was getting pitched and thrown off the back of Chisel. But Ty, if this one stays as a score, we are gonna see a lead change. Yeah, this has to feel good. You know, this bull has a ton of time and really getting up into the air, turning back into his hand. 91 and a quarter. Well, it continues the streak, and look at this bull really jumping, really kicking. Eduardo just keeps moving over there where he needs to be, and, and you know, this is just, this is what we're here to see. This is an example of what the first round of the world final should look like. Yeah, and that's huge, not only for Eduardo going to the lead, possibly to win a go around, but for Chiseled as well. That's a big time score for him. 45 and a quarter for the bull, but Eduardo has to love the view from the top. Go out there, it's like a fist fight to me. He goes, you gotta bring it with everything you've got. Shorty said it, Mac was showing me up in the booth. He rode for at least a couple seconds with that hand popped free. He runs over to safety. He's already got somebody who has his back and has pressed the challenge button. There may not be seven one hundredths of a second that have been bigger in Chase Outlaw's life than these. No, no question. And this, you know, if you think back to our meeting with Chase, he was talking about just this, his hand popping out of his bull rope. He talked about his elbow rolling out a little farther than it needs to, and he's going to get a score. He right is going to get a score. Great work by our camera team, and that is clearly evident. As long as your hand's in the rope, you can still make the eight seconds. And it looks like he's going to get it. He does 88 and a half. That's huge for Outlaw to keep him in this race. And, you know, he talked about it, having that problem fit. He made it long enough right there. <laughs> I'm stoked for this guy. And finally, a rider who gets a little out of position towards the end hangs on for eight seconds. Dalton Castle combines with two dirty tie for a score. McBride, that was really impressive. And it, for me, the reason it's so impressive is because he was set into his hand from the very first jump. This shows the amount of just cattiness this little guy has. Well, and, and it's that X factor. It's, it's a certain thing about certain guys. Mooney's had it, all the greats have had it. And they've just got a natural feel for the middle. They can get a little stuck and they know how to move back to the middle of a bull. 88 and a half. We go outside and I just working for it because I don't like backing off and so I, I kept hustling. Craig. Cody Teal <laughs> follows up Castle's qualified ride with one of his own. Going back to Dalton's last comment, Ty, he doesn't like to buck off. Well, when he gets a full season under his belt, we're all going to be impressed for 12 months. So fun to see the young talent that we've got coming up, and I love it. 88 and a quarter for Cody Teal. Old veteran right here that this is a guy that I, I, I've really become a big fan of Cody Teal. Big, tall, lanky guy, and... This guy here just, he knows how to move, he knows how to try, he's got the guts. I love how he finished it too. He was kind of in a bind. He rode on through the whistle and got off in good shape. Because JB Mooney rode this bull in Little Rock for 88 and a quarter.
worth every point too. To me, here comes that wow factor as you watch this ride progress and you watch Lemmy's outside leg, he is showing the judges that he is in complete control of this ride. Tonight, round one, Lemmy had the better bull over Lockwood and he took full advantage. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.